Hey, what's up? Last Layer King here. Today I'm going to be going over how to incorporate five style into your three blind solves. If you haven't seen my tutorial on double weak swap, go check that out because double weak swap will be a necessary fundamental in this technique. So essentially with double weak swap, if your buffer is UB, then if you hit your buffer piece before you finish memo, you would weak swap it to UL. And if you hit the UL piece before finishing memo, you would weak swap it to UF. This will force your last two targets to be UF and UL. The same concept could be extended to a third piece, where if you hit the UF piece before you finish memo and you haven't memoed to UR yet, you can weak swap the UF piece to UR. And this will force your last three targets to be UR, UF, and UL. If you do that and you don't have parity, you'll find that at the end of your memo, you'll have buffer to somewhere to UR to UF to UL. And that cycle can be solved with a five style alg. So the subset of five style that we will be concerned about would be buffer to somewhere to UR to UF to UL. And there are only 16 cases in that subset. So it's a very reasonable set to learn. In the case that your buffer is UF, you should be weak swapping the buffer piece to UR. And then if you hit UR before you finish memo, you would uh, weak swap it to UB. And then here you're going to do the third weak swap on UL. So if you hit the UB piece before you finish memo, you'll shoot it to UL. And the five style set generated by this would be buffer to somewhere to UL to UB to UR. I'll include links to algorithm sheets to both of those five style sets in the description. If you're comfortable doing double weak swap in your solves, then setting up triple weak swap for five style should be relatively easy to learn. So as an example, here we've got buffer to this piece here, and we've hit the buffer piece. So we're going to weak swap the buffer to UL. So if we hit the top color of the buffer, we would shoot it to the top, but we hit the side color, so we're going to shoot this to the side. So we'll go buffer to here to here to weak swap the buffer piece to UL. And now we have buffer to here, and we fit the UL piece. So once again, if we hit the top color of UL, we want to shoot it to the top side of UF right here. If we hit the side color, we want to shoot it to the side of UF. And here we hit the side color. So I'm going to shoot buffer to here, to here. And now we've weak swapped the UL piece to UF. And now we can continue buffer to here, to here. And then buffer to here, hitting the UF piece. So instead of cycle breaking or solving this piece to UF, we're going to weak swap it to UR. So once again, if we hit the top color of the UF piece, we want to shoot it to the top side of UR. And if we hit the side color of the UF piece, we want to shoot it to the side of UR. Here we hit the top color, so we're going to shoot this to UR. And now we have buffer to here, and it goes back to UR, which now goes to UF to UL, and we have this five style set up. And we can do the algorithm for it. Being able to set up five style like this is actually going to be kind of rare because you have to get it on a scramble where if you memoed it normally, there would have to be at least three cycle breaks, or you already have some piece to pseudo solve, like the buffer already in UL in the scramble or the UL piece already in UF in the scramble. You also need to have the appropriate targets available to weak swap too. You'll have to hit your buffer before you hit UL, you'll have to hit UL before you hit UF, and you'll have to hit UF before you hit UR. If one of those conditions doesn't happen, you won't be able to set up the triple weak swap. If you do triple weak swap, but you happen to have parity, you'll find yourself with the cycle from buffer to UR to UF to UL. One way of solving this would just be to cycle buffer to UR to UF to undo two of the weak swap targets. And that'll leave you with a UBUL swap, allowing you to do parity normally. And the alternative method of solving this, I will go over in the next video. Now that I've gone over the concept, let's do some example solves. Scramble in your orientation if you use UB, and if you use a UF buffer, scramble it a Y2 away from your orientation. So here we have buffer to here, hitting the buffer piece, so we're going to weak swap it to UL, so we're going to shoot it to here. This goes to here, and now I've hit the UL piece, so we're going to shoot it to UF. But because we hit the side color, we're going to shoot it to the side of UF, so we'll go here to here. This goes to here, to here, and now I fit the UF piece. So we're going to weak swap this piece to UR. 
So this will go to here, to here, which goes to here, to here, which goes to here, and this goes back to UR. So we now have this target going to here, to here, to here. So our five style case will be buffer to here, to here, to here, to here. I will now solve corners. And now going through edges, as I memoed them, we had buffer to here, to here. And now our buffer piece is weak swapped in UL. And then we had to here, and we shot this to here. So now our UL piece is in UF, and we've set up double weak swap. And now we had here to here. And then we put this piece to here, to here. And now we have the UF piece in UR for triple weak swap. And now we head to here, to here. And now we have this five style case buffer to here, to here, to here, to here. Here is another example. So in this one, we have buffer to here, to here. And now we have hit the buffer piece, so we're going to shoot it to UL. But we see that UL is flipped. So we can just cycle break into this flipped edge because technically this piece needs to go to this location or we can memo it as this piece going to this location. So this piece is gonna to go to here. And then instead of finishing the cycle as we would with a cycle that's like this, we can just weak swap this piece to here. So because we have the blue side, we have to shoot the blue sticker to the side so that this piece ends up oriented. So we'll have here to here, and then continuing we have here to here, and now we've hit the UF piece. So we hit the side color of UF, so we're going to shoot it to the side of UR. So this piece will go to here to here, which goes to here to here, which goes to here, and this goes back to UR. So we'll end up with buffer to here to UR to UF to UL. Now solving corners. And now going through edges, we had buffer to here, to here. And now we've got the buffer solved. So we went to here, to here. And now we've got both of these pieces weak swapped where they need to be for double weak swap. So now we'll continue with here, to here, and then we head here to here, and then we head here to here, and we end up with buffer to here, to here, to here, to here. And this happens to be one of the best five style cases. So thanks for watching, I hope you found this instructive, and I will catch you in the next video.